Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Puckett. I'm a board certified chiropractic neurologist. And today we're going to talk about peripheral neuropathy. What it is, how do you get it, and then what can you do about it. So the first thing, peripheral neuropathy is a disease where your nerves start to degenerate. And then because of that degeneration, you have pain, you have tingling, you get numbness. Now this becomes a problem, I mean, it becomes a problem because of the pain, of course. And it can be very intense. It also becomes a problem for people who don't have pain because then they can't feel their feet or their hands and so they drop things all the time. Or more dangerously, when they're walking, they can't feel their feet and they trip and they fall. So this is a huge deal, um, even if you're not in that pain category. This, is, this can be a life and death situation for you. So I wanna talk about now, how does peripheral neuropathy develop? So what I have here in my hands is a nerve. Now, it may not look like a nerve to you, but this is a nerve. The big cable here, this is, if you look at a body, and you'll see these strands, and that's what this is, that string that goes from your back to your leg, or from your neck down to your hand, is a nerve. Inside that nerve, there's a, the wrapping of the nerve. Inside that nerve, there are all these little bitty nerves, because we need to be able to do a lot of things with our hand. We need to be able to move each individual muscle one at a time. We need to be able to feel lots of different sensations. We need to be able to feel light touch. We need to be able to feel pressure. We need to feel pain and temperature. We need to be able to feel vibration. So all these different nerves, they each carry different information here. What happens when we start to break down is we get inflammation. Inflammation comes from all kinds of other sources. It's, I talk about it in all my other videos. I just wanna say what that does to a nerve Inflammation to a nerve comes in and it starts to shred the casing. And then it starts to degenerate the, the casing around each individual nerve. And so now the nerves don't have the protective coating. They don't have as much of the protective coating as they're supposed to have. And that's when you feel tingling. The tingling's not actually at the fingers. The tingling's here in the nerve, here in the nerve. The longer the nerve, the more likely you are to have damage to it because the damage happens anywhere along the length of the nerve. So now we've got this nerve that's starting to pick up, it's getting short circuits and it's getting messages that don't match what's going on here at your fingertips. That's really confusing to the brain and you get these sensations that say numb, tingling, pain, temperature, vibration, and that's all peripheral neuropathy. Okay, so this is what happens. And I've just described the most common ways that it can affect you. You've got peripheral nerves that go to your stomach as well, so you can even have gut problems because of peripheral neuropathy. But the most common way is out into the hands and feet. Those are the longest nerves. Now, this is how you break down. Now, you notice on this, this the different nerves, the different cables have different colors. Well, so the red cables here these are the nerves that carry pain information. The yellow nerve here, this is a nerve that carries movement information. Now this pain nerve, it's firing all the time. If it didn't fire all the time, the nerve would die. So the nerve has to send messages up to the brain. But there's no problem, there's no reason to, we need to be consciously aware of this. And the yellow nerve that feels movement tells the brain, hey, that's the same amount of pain that he should have. I'm standing up here, I've got 185 pounds of pressure on my feet. The pain fiber is telling how much pressure there is. The yellow fiber here is telling it that's right. And down here in the base of our brain, these two nerves get together and our brain says everything's okay. There's no reason to tell the consciousness of any problem. If the yellow nerve starts not carrying the message, then all that's getting up into the brain is the pain fiber and then the pain fiber gets up here, there's nothing for the brain to go, hey, that's right. The pain fiber then gets sent, the message gets sent up into the brain. That's when we hurt. That's when the pain come, kicks in. And that's when you start going, oh my gosh, something's wrong. And for the most part, we tend to ignore when we're numb because we don't even think about it. Within the medical world for peripheral neuropathy, they've got some drugs that are designed to help you feel less pain. They don't have anything to do with the underlying causes. So they just let the inflammation keep on going. They let the, the degeneration continue happening. It makes it less painful while you're going through it. 
The difference in our approach here is that we actually look at what are those underlying causes so that we can do something constructive for you so that maybe you can live with less pain as you're getting better instead of as you're getting worse. Now what we do to help you get better, you need to deal with the inflammation so that you no longer are scratching and trying to tear up the nerves. Once, the, once that's handled, then you need to get good nutrition so your immune system can come in and start rebuilding. Because until the nerves are dead, there's still, they're still hope and they can still get better. But you gotta get rid of the inflammation, rebuild the nutritional status, and just like everything else in neurology, you have to exercise the nerves. So that's the process here. And I've talked in other videos about how we do those things. It's just a short video to tell you what's going on. Okay, so this is Peripheral Neuropathy. Watch our chronic condition video to find out how we go about doing that. But this is how it ties into your condition.